guys, what are we gonna do today? Today I'm gonna show you how to make this really cute apron pocket. So it's not really an apron, but you have these cute little pockets here. It just has a couple seams to them so fast that even if you don't sew, this is an easy project. So let's just get started. So what you're gonna need for this project is two 10 by 10 pieces, and this is actually gonna be the frame of your bag. And you're gonna need one 10 by 14 piece, and that's gonna be the front pocket. The pocket, you're going to fold your 10 by 14 in half and iron it down. And you have a nice finished pocket here. Now I know this is gonna be the front, and I would like this side on the front. So I am laying them just like this. It's gonna be what's visible also. And then what I'm gonna do is take the right side of my fabric and lay it on top and sandwich it in. Now all we're gonna do is sew a seam here, here, and here, and we're going to turn it inside out. So we're sewing the three sides together now. And this is like your belt that you're gonna wrap around you or tie in a knot. So what I did was, I'm cutting two one yard pieces and I'm just gonna roll this up real quick. There, let me just roll it up so it doesn't get all tangly. I'm gonna bring it down just about a half inch from the top. And what I did was, I'm just gonna scotch tape it on. You could just pin it on, whatever works for you if you're worried that it's going to flop around at all. So you can see it's right here and it's on this front side. So it'll be a little more bulky, but it really does work just fine. And I'm gonna go in just about a quarter inch from the edge, and I'm gonna grab all my pieces. Okay, let's just trim this. And on these corners, I just go at an angle and don't cut your threads. And if you need to, just trim a little bit or use um, a pair of pinking shears. So now that you've sewn through it all, let's just turn it inside out. You want the pocket with your front piece. This is my front. This is my pocket, and then you even have your straps already here. Now, the reason you leave that little bit of a half inch there is because this is what we're gonna fold down and iron this, and then we'll move on. So all I'm gonna do is just do a quick running stitch on the front, or, and you can even do this by hand. Okay, so just a quick review again. Um, you have your 10 by 10 back here. We have our 10 by 14 folded in half and the bottom edge is right at the bottom edge of the 10 by 10. Then you're putting your next piece on top of that, just like that. I just bring this down. I'm gonna take my straps. I'm gonna put them just about a half inch or so below there and put it on the inside, move all the bulk on the inside. So you might just wanna pin it and shove it in, but you just wanna make sure this is held secured because it will be a little bulky. So when it's pinned down on the sides, bring this up, sew your right side seam, your bottom, your left, trim the corners, trim if needed, and turn it inside out and everything should be together. Then you're going to fold your flaps down and you can do your running seam on the top and in the back. So a few of these, you can see I just um, used some stamp pieces. And what I am gonna show you is how I took my heavy duty um, steam seam and I ironed it on white fabric and I am going to use this for stamping on. So I think I'm gonna do is like what I did on several of them where I had the top flap and I just did greenery. So I have the bottom edge of this, the steam is seam is cut right to there. So it's nice and firm. And I am just gonna start stamping. And on fabric, you wanna make sure that your um, stamp pad is a little bit juicy because the fabric really wants to soak it up. So what's fun with this is you can just stamp different colors and different pieces and then when you cut them out you can decide what you really like on that. 
So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna heat set this. Just lay a piece of your computer paper, just anything on top, and put a hot iron over it and it'll heat set the ink and then we're going to cut them out. So I'm just gonna cut these pieces out kind of close, but not too close. Because I really want some of the white to show. And I'm just gonna kind of outline it a little bit. And I tried to cut this about the same width as my width here so I knew how far I'd wanna stamp. So what I'm gonna do now is take the backing off. And it's nice and tacky. So you can kind of lay it where you want it beforehand. And with steam seam, you wanna make sure you're using steam. So make sure your iron's hot enough. Okay, what do you think? Okay, so you see what we've done. And now I even think, boy, that might even be cute to add another little bird to it. So I'm gonna play with it some more and see what I love. But you see you have, you can tie this around your waist now. You have this pocket here, you have this pocket here and it's all decorated up. Um, you can add anything extra to it now, whether you wanna add some fabric flowers, some other trim, some binding, whatever you would like. But whatever you do, have fun.